There it goes. <gasps> there it goes. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to yet another video. You may have seen my recent video on the teardown uh, performance test. So, and uh, you guys seem to have liked it because it did get over a thousand views in the first few days of it being uploaded. I know that's not a lot for some people, but for me, that's a lot. So, I'm going to do another video on the teardown performance test demo using the uh, free cam mod for the camera. So I can go wherever I want. And I'll show you how to install both right now. You're going to have to join the unofficial teardown discord server and then come to the performance test demo tab and go to the very top of uh, the thread. Uh, that might take a while so I'm not going to do it right now but at the very very top there is a post by Dennis and Dennis has a link to the, uh, the performance test demo. So down here, there's another channel that is Perf Ted's Test Mods. Sorry, my go my phone's going crazy here. Let me mute it. There we go. So, uh, let's see. Where was I? Yes. So you have come down to the very bottom of Perf Test Mods, uh, and there should be the newest version of the Teardown Free Cam. You're just going to click that link and hit Yep. Then there's going to be uh, Teardown Free Cam. This is version 1.1. All you're going to do is download the. You're not going to download either of these files, just the Teardown Free Cam zip file. So that is going to come out right here. So you're just going to open that up. Then all you're going to do is double click release. And then there is the Teardown Camera Hack application. You're going to double click that and extract all. I've already done it, so I just replaced the files. Um, so here is the extracted folder. You're going to double click release again. Then you're going to open Teardown Camera Hack. So, and then uh, Windows protected my PC. Just let it go. So you just hit run anyway. Waiting for Teardown Performance Test. So we get that. We're just, you can just minimize this. Then we just open our Teardown Performance Test. I don't know. No, that's not it. Uh, I believe it is in Teardown Performance Test. So, open that up, and it's going to put us into the uh, the performance test. So, uh, let me turn this down. It's blowing my eardrums. There we go. So, let me make sure. All right, I got my settings maxed out. I'm going to get about 30 frames per second, but I'll do have that for now. I'll turn on some NZXT cam and start the test. So in this right away you're going to notice things are a lot different. Uh, you can actually move around so I can pan around like this. Um, I can move. The only problem is you cannot uh, move on the X rotation so that's a little weird. You can go up and down though. So that's nice. There's, there's no physics to your body but you can move around. Uh, See, so you can kind of go through walls like that. But that's still pretty cool how we have a free cam mod in this. Um, so now I'm going to see. I now have uh, my gun, which is my normal gun. But watch what happens when I hit caps lock. I now have an auto clicker. So that's nice. And then if I hit 7, the number 7, I have different uh, kinds of weapons. So that's like a smaller gun. I hit it again, there's, I don't know what the difference is there, hit 7 again, we got like, uh, pipe bombs, so that's nice, and then we'll hit it again, and that's something that, that just pushes it with physics, so, pushes like debris and stuff, doesn't really destroy stuff. That was another bomb, so if I come up like this, you'll see it, there they go, and then they blow up. So there, so that's that. Um, and then if I hit it once more, we are back to our normal gun. So let's have a little fun with this. Um, I'm gonna hit seven once more. To get the small pistol. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Oh, and by the way, if you hit, if you hold CTRL, and then 
R, it restarts, so you don't have to go to the menu and restart like that. So I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I did it once before, and it was pretty awesome. So I'm going to take the gun, and let's see if I can get the right one. I believe that's correct. So I will just go down like this. And uh, is that it? I can't tell. I think that's the small gun. So I'm going to go up here. And uh, go up to the top here. And start cutting away at the front of this building. Oh, yes. This is going to take a minute, but this is going to be awesome. Okay, so now the entire front of the building is detached from uh, the main part of the building. Let's cut down that middle part down by the bottom here, all the way down, and see what happens. Physics doesn't uh, uh, start to take place until every single bit is destroyed. So there's just this, this little bit that is holding the entire part up. We'll let that come down. And we'll see what this does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good right there. And another thing you should see is the uh, you can get a better view of the metal bending physics with this test here. So we can uh, go like this take those out and you can see how that bends and I can uh, shoot it here check that out that is some cool stuff right there another thing that Dennis has perfected in this game is the wood physics so if we come all the way over here there is a wood fort so with the wood physics we have some uh, we have some really good bending things in the wood. So if I took that leg out and we switch to a smaller gun, and then uh, took the ladder away, you can see how the ladder bends with gravity. Take these supports away, the wood bends as if it would in real life. So let's take that leg out. You feel the wood bending. Check that out. Now watch this. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in a physics game. Take all that out, and then this all kind of flops down. That is so cool. And we got the trees. Knock those down and shoot the branches out of them. I think that's pretty cool. And if we look at the lighting, you have some really detailed lighting in this. It's absolutely beautiful. If you look over here at the fire, you see how the fire is lighting this whole area up. That's the ray tracing in action. It's pretty good stuff, although my 1070 is barely pushing 30 frames per second. Uh, in this high quality of graphics, I just wanted to show it to you because it is really cool looking. So let's blow this up and check out the lighting in that. Did you see that? That was amazing. You saw the light just bounce off of everything. I love ray tracing. Let's blow this up. There you go. So now I'm going to go inside of a building like this one. Uh, maybe not this one. Um, This one. And we're going to go up into the rafters here. So, And then I'm going to launch a pipe bomb. So we'll go 7, 1, 1. That's the right one. So watch it as it lights it all up all the way down. Boom. Let me do it again. That is some awesome ray tracing. So now I'm going to be destroying the building. So now I am going to uh, chop the top of this building off. So I'm going to come up like this, and we'll come probably, you know, not the top, we'll just go like this. Take the full top of this building off. Oh wait, <laughs> what am I thinking? I got an auto <laughs> Alright. 
appears to be held up by those two pipes, which probably aren't going to hold up much longer. There it goes. <gasps> oh. There it goes. Bam! Oh, whoa. There it is. Oh, it's upside down. Is it going to go into the water? No, it's not. Here, maybe. There it goes. And into the water. So cool. Blow up these tanks too. I'm gonna shoot a few more pipe bombs before I end the video. Wrong one. Right one. I just love the lighting. Oops. The lighting here. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's gonna ruin the frame rate. Uh, not too bad. Oop, nope, I've got I'm getting like 10 frames per second. Got a little off here. Nice. And uh my frame rates are officially extremely low, so um, I guess I'm going to call that a video. Alright guys, if you want to see more of my videos, just click right up here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, click right here. And for now, goodbye.